This is a mirror that I built, which is quite obvious because you can literally see the camera that's in the reflection. However, this isn't just an ordinary mirror. This mirror does different things like... That's right, this is an infinity mirror. Kind of looks like a portal. You've got lights that look like they're going down this infinite corridor here, which is a nice illusion I put in. And you might have actually seen these online already available to purchase or someone's done a DIY YouTube. Now, the reason I built this is because I was looking into buying a safe or something to store some things in with a bit of security. But what does a safe actually have to do with this project? Well, if you can see over here, I've got a fingerprint scanner that when I scan my finger, of course, this thing will actually begin to open up. You can see the lights have turned green, indicating that it's my and hip hip hooray, you're in. So there we go. I've already started putting some things in here. And now obviously when I scan my finger again, it obviously will close. And so the reason I'm actually being a bit cautious about calling this a safe is because I did a bit of a prototype by building this out of wood in the first instance, because using metal and, you know, uh, thief proof materials is kind of expensive. TikTok's already done a good job of pointing that out. Now what I'm going to show is a montage of how this thing came together, followed by the specifics of what's inside and outside this thing, so you can try and build one for yourself. But before we go into that, please hit that subscribe button down below. Again, it helps us get more content out like this. A lot of work went into this one, and we're looking forward to bringing you some more content soon. So let me show you the time travel feature that I built into this, and let's go through the portal to when I built this. First and main driver of our circuit is this 12 volt relay. This is controlling both our solenoid lock and our linear actuator. Over here is our solenoid lock, which is what's keeping everything secure between this bracket. The other two relay pins are for extruding and retracting the actuator. I install the actuator so it opens the mirror upwards. The mechanism works very similar to what we saw in Project Alexandria, which was Sean's bookshelf cabinet that was built not long ago, and honestly, this piece wasn't really necessary for me, but it was just fun to play around with. We then have the fingerprint scanner, in which I 3D printed a mount to install to the box. The way I've coded this is so when my finger is scanned, the computer will detect whether it's the first or second scan. First scan will open, while the second scan will close, and then the sequence will reset. The last bit of this circuit is the LED controller. I decided to go cheap and get an RGB strip and use three different MOF sets to control each color. This allowed me to do things like code a green color when the box was opened. And now let's see the outside of this. The top piece is clearly our mirror, and all I did was purchase a photo frame from my local office store and line the glass piece with privacy film. I probably should have just been less frugal and purchased a one-way mirror as I had no patience with getting all the air bubbles out and affected the overall look. I then had a second piece of privacy film lined acrylic in which I installed the LED strips between the two mirrors. I screwed this to a wooden backing and then finally onto the front panel of the box. Using a sheet of pine wood, I then cut out five more rectangles and then screwed all the pieces together to create the box, finally finishing it off with a dark paint job and bocked down all the screw holes to give it one unique look. And so now that I have a finished mirror to store things in, let's get this packing. So I'm thinking it might be good to put my tape measure in here. This pot plant that I got from mum, Toy Ferrari, a large mop. Okay, maybe I'll empty it for now and let the comment section tell me what I should put in here. And with that, I'm going to close out this video in hopes that you enjoyed seeing this project come together. Before you move on with your day, please consider subscribing to our channel so you can stay tuned for more content like this in the near future. Bye!